Oi, 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 oi. Are we in focus? Who knows? Hello, everyone. My name is Caden Howlett. If we have not met, I'm here in the high Andes of Chile with my field partner, Chance Ronimus. He's somewhere on that slope back there. And we are doing some geologic mapping. And I've said this a lot on the channel. I'm a field geologist. I do, I make geologic maps. I've learned through time that people don't really have an intuition for what a geologic map is and what it is that we're doing. And if you're interested in becoming a geologist, it's a good thing to know. <laughs> so a geologic map, I've said on the channel before, is a graphical representation of the rocks at Earth's surface. And so prior to coming into a field area like this, from previous workers, we probably have a, a, a decent idea of what kind of rocks, that is lithology and the age of the rocks that we might expect. But around the entire globe, there's, there's a lack of high resolution geologic maps. And with that definition of a geologic map, to describe basically what we're doing out here is we're coming out literally mapping with polygons and lines the distribution of different rocks on Earth's surface. And this starts by coming into the field, coming up to an outcrop like the one above me, and describing the lithology. So like of all, uh, granite, for example. You might start with as simple as, is this igneous, metamorphic, or sedimentary? And through time, and a lot of miles and vertical gain and descent, you gain an idea for the distribution of different lithologies in space. And in a lot of cases, you might have a pretty good idea of the age of some of those rocks, that is on geologic timescales. So for example, this rock next to me is probably somewhere around 150, 160 million years old. These volcanics are known as the Rio Damas Formation up here on the border with Chile. So we're coming out and we're figuring out where different rocks are in space. And after you do that, you might notice a few weird things. You might notice rocks with significantly different ages that are adjacent to one another. And this is where things like structural geology come into play. We're also extremely interested in the location of, of regional scale faults that are capable of moving, for example, old rock like the Rio Damas against younger Cenozoic rocks to my west. And so we're exploring the mountains, really. We're figuring out what lithologies are around us, that is rock type. We're figuring out how they relate to each other spatially. And then once you have a final product, you have a pretty good idea or a pretty good lead on the geologic history. This led to this. After that, this happened. Maybe a big granitic pluton cuts through a thrust fault law of cross-cutting relationships, you know that that pluton has to be younger than the fault. These are things that if you're an undergraduate in geology, you might have learned about. If not, it's coming. And it's a beautiful pursuit and it's difficult and you get to spend time in amazing environments. And I highly recommend if you are able to get into the field and do some rock identification, regardless of what you're interested in, there is something for you in geology. It doesn't have to be field geology, but this is what we do and it's rewarding and challenging and beautiful. So thank you for listening. That's a short video, but wanted to share this scenery and give a quick overview of what geologic maps are. Thank you for listening. Keep your eye out for more stuff in the future, everybody. I'm still confused. I don't know what's going on out here. We're trying to figure it out. <laughs> See ya.